Hey guys, the Uden Company sent me a little mini portable charcoal grill to review. So let's take a look at it. This thing is portable, so it kind of just folds up like a little suitcase here. And it's got legs on the bottom that fold out here. So, just like that. Okay. And then, this part here drops down when you pull the legs out, so that gives you more depth. This is your, um, that folds down like that. That's your uh, grill grate there. And then it's also got this down in the bottom. I think that lifts the charcoal up so it gets a little more ventilation so it burns a little bit better. The dimensions of this are in millimeters, so let's measure and see what they are in inches here. Okay, about 10 and a half, let's just call it 11 inches wide. And, um, Just a little under 14, so we'll say 14 inches long and about 8 inches high. When it's folded up, I think it's about 3 inches high. This thing really isn't very heavy. I don't think it probably weighs more than maybe 2-3 pounds, something like that. Um, it's made to be portable, so you can just you know take it with you on picnics or camping or whatever. I had a steak in the fridge, so try that and I have also these uh, pre-made kebabs so let's take this out in the backyard and try cooking those on it I have some royal oak lump charcoal so I'll just put some of that in there I wasn't quite sure how much charcoal to use but I just put a little pile in the corner there and I'll put some lighter fluid on it just do it the easy way here and uh, we'll get this lit. These matches will light. There we go. The coals are looking pretty good, so now I'm going to spread them out. Okay, now we'll get the, the grill grate on there. Uh-oh, I just did a major blooper here. I'm using a plastic table and I didn't think about it, but look at, I melted my darn table. So I'm gonna have to move that grill and put it on something else real quick. Well, that was a big screw up on my part. We just learned, don't put it on a plastic table. I hope it's gonna be okay on this glass table. I hope it won't crack. Oh, well, I guess we'll see what happens. Anyway, let me get my steak on there. And we'll get the chicken kebabs on there. And hopefully it'll be okay on this table. I'm a little bit worried about that now. I did not even think about that being a plastic table and it might get hot and melt like that. This grill seems to be working pretty good though. Let me flip my steak over here. It's been on a few minutes on that side. Ooh, yeah, ooh, uh-oh. And I'll burn my hand. Okay, there we go. Turn my kebabs over. Oh, my, all my kebabs are stuck. Dang it, I'm having a hard time here. I figured out how to get my kebabs loose. I take my tongs and just run them underneath them like that. The grill keeps sliding on me. All right, now we're looking good. This is actually working pretty good. I just pulled the steak off and it looks nice. We'll pull these kebabs off. Just don't put this on a plastic table. <laughs> the chicken kebabs turned out good once I got them unstuck. Let me cut into the steak and see how it looks inside. That looks pretty good to me. Let me taste it. Steak turned out good, so that little grill actually worked out pretty good, but I did learn something. Don't put it on a plastic table. I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't even think about it getting that hot. But, oh well, anyway, I will put the link to Amazon for that little grill if anybody, if anybody wants to take a look at it. I think it sells for around $20. Anyway, 
Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.